Hello guys, it is Tuesday and time for our weekly sale. And you have no idea how excited I am. I have not only some amazing new inventory, but um, I was doing some organizing from the stuff from the trailer, my jewelry from the trailer, and I found my original precious metals bag. Like with my things I had saved to list, like my favorite sterling pieces. I found a gorgeous gold bracelet that is London blue topaz, all kinds of things. And an awesome new inventory. I have a couple, these are Desert Trading Company necklaces. Um, I have new pendants. This is blue gold stone. Oh my gosh, I love this. Huge. Um, this is a giant sterling and it's doubled at the top. So the chain is a lot longer. I found a, a different one of these. This, so this is a different size of the heart hinged bangle. Of course, we have our um, gold stone, hematite and mother of pearl shell inlay mirror. I have a bunch of sterling glass and gemstone and pearl necklaces with sterling findings. I've got rings in all sizes starting at a four and oh my gosh, I love that necklace or I love this ring. I just had a necklace to go with it. Let me grab that. Look at this. Look at this. I love that. <laughs> oh, what are these? Oh, gem. Oh yeah. And this is in a larger size. This is seven and a half or seven and three quarters. Um, we've got diamonds i've got a diamond bracelet three diamond rings whoops here we go we've got a diamond heart panel bracelet three diamond rings yes stomach canceled <laughs> baseball practice well hello hello miss amanda we are always so glad to have you join you are one of my favorite people i think about you all the time look at this What's this? Oh, no big deal. Just like a super old antique little, um, you know, like snuff bottle or perfume bottle with a wine colored glass top. This is all sterling and it's marked. <laughs> this was from my, my treasures, my treasures. This is um, solid 10 karat gold, London blue topaz. Exciting. Brenda Stuckey, how are you? Hello, hello, hello. Good to see you, my friends. Thank you guys so much for coming. I appreciate it very much. Um, oh, I turned on Elvis Pressy to test these eyes right here. Var she blows. Okay. And this is a sterling silver abalone and garnet eye frog bracelet. I went apparently crazy on the bracelets this time. Don't know why. I have some blue guilloche yellow wear cyan sterling, a panel bracelet. Awesome. Slowly moving your arm now. Oh, I remember you had that break. I'm so sorry. Awful, awful, awful. Um, let me see. I just put that necklace together. We are gathered together today. Found it. Hematite ring, size Foa. Foa. I have a um, Homsa hand festooned choker. It's another one with like a five inch extender. I have the sweetest mother of pearl heart, sterling 
um, paperclip link necklace. We have all kinds of treasures. Storm. <laughs> oh, I thought there was a stomach flu going around. I thought you did need stomach, like a stomach bug. Hey, either way, either way, either way is fine. And I hold all. Um, the last two things I wanted to pull out from my stash. Um, let me see. Oh, and I have a 1,250 gram order. That's, of course, in the thousands to pay for on Friday. So <laughs> we have a lot of new inventory coming, but that's why I'm doing a lot of sales this week. Um, obviously, I've got a portion of it set aside, but so I, anyway, I have two sets of these. Um, the amethyst earrings are over there. These are branded sterling um, FAS pendant necklace and earring sets. I had these in the mustache, not in a mustache, in my stash. You know what I mean. Know what I mean, Jill? But we will get started. Let me put these out on the ring stand very quickly because if I don't have them out, I may forget and then I'll be pissed at myself after for not showing them. This is Topaz. Look at this antique um, ceramic transferware panel bracelet. That is from my collection. My collection. Um, I brought the faux opal. Dragon's Breath style antique. Well, I guess it's a type of Dragon's Breath. The my favorite one is it's like an orangey red with kind of bluey purple in the back. But anyway, okay, last earring. Put it on, jam. Amethyst, and we will get started. Um, oh, I also have... I had a request for some vintage costume jewelry with uh, and branded pieces as well. Like, so pulled that out too. Da, 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 da. We shall have it all. Oh, I've also pre planned our gifts tonight. So to start us off, we have the new with tag. Whoops. New with tag, sterling silver, palm tree, pendant or charm. We have the teeniest and the cutest prong set rhinestone vintage earrings, post earrings. We have the gold tone vintage hook earrings. And then I went ahead and added this. Um, this is going to be our fourth item. It doesn't count as one of the three. Just as an extra, I want it to go to a home. It has an ultra long pin, really nice enameled um, flower brooch that needs a few little um, rhinestone replacements. And then, ooh, I'm turning Elvis back on because I forgot to test the top thing. Um, if we do over 325 in sales, just like last time, I will add another um, sterling item. This is red. This is a pendant, red coral, and I believe that's quartz crystal. It's quartz or glass, obviously. Um, so I will add that as a fifth gift if we get to 325. And I also, of course, I'm giving away a $5 credit for every $100 in sales. Not calculating, oh, I paid this for this and this is the profit. Just if something sells for $50, then it counts as $50. So, you know, too much, that would be way too much of a mess to try and do. This is quartz. So, any hoozle. That will be our second sterling and fifth item for the giveaway if we get to um, 325. I just thought it was cool. So 
let us get started. Um, I have, oh, I just turned all this back off, turn them back on. A very random thing. Hi, Kay Bailey, how are you? Hello, hello, hello. Good to see you, my friends. You know I am always adamant. I do not sell pendants without chains it's just, or um, chain pendants without pendants. But there's always exceptions to every rule. And I have a Tiffany & Co. style sterling silver pendant. And But one side of it says Diane. And if you're not named Diane, then obviously it wouldn't be for you, but you can wear it on the other side. Or you could have the Diane buffed out. They do it in the mall for like five or 10 bucks. You can have sterling or gold engraved. But um, so just for the, and this, she thick, she is the thickness, Tiffany lock style heart sterling pendant, just the pendant. I'm going to do this. Adelia's, I buy it now. Um, um, 10 bucks because this is a heavy one and you can wear it, um, just as a heart pendant by itself. Thar she blows. I just thought it was kind of fun and random. Why not add a little something, something? Um, I do have, these are beautifully made very high quality um, sterling rectangle CZ studs. Look at these, you guys. They do have their backs. And I do believe these are branded. Let me see. I thought that this um, loop would actually be better because it's a 40 times magnification versus 30, but it's actually harder. These are, oh yes, these are by the, it's the capital letter N in a square, 925, and that's marked on the post, and then the backs are marked with 925. So, these almost have a blue hue to them, just almost. They're really pretty. Very nice, CZ rectangle studs. Buy it now, 10 bucks. $10, when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie. Not somebody. Tiffany! Hello, 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 my neighbor and friend. Good to see you. And thank you very much for coming. I do appreciate it very much. Um, let's do... I have some designer costume pieces that I've either not shown at all or it's been a really long time. Um, this is, I bought this in person at a consignment store across town. This is J. Crew, And it is in great condition. I love, 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 love this necklace. It's very well made while well, it's J. Crew. Um, the top, it doesn't look like worn. It's just the top. I think someone replaced the, um, extender and lobster clasp because maybe it was worn and they replaced it with a brand new silver tone one, uh, because the rest is gold tone. Um, of course it is marked with ZJ crew. And 
I paid way too much for it because I bought it in person and I'm, you guys know, I'm not an expert on modern costume stuff. I don't see enough of it to, you know, really, you can look things up and learn things, but working with it and using it, seeing it repetitively is how you really learn things. But anyway, this is 18 and a half to 21 and a half inches. Pam Clift, how are you? Hello, hello, my friend. Hi, hi, hi. Um, anyway, so I got this for $7.50 plus tax, and I will do this for a starting bid of $8, which is probably actually a few cents less. It was probably like $8.25, I don't know. But it is very pretty, and I love how it's mixed in with like the neutral tones with a couple pops of color. I, I just like it. I just do, and it's a different one, unique, unique, unique. And then we have um, let's jump right in. Um, let's do this is gold filled and I was acid testing, I tested the wires, the little panels, and the clasp. All of them, so there's 10K acid and 14K and 18K, but there's no 12K. So uh, you have to basically just use the 10K to check. But I also, I thought, and this is usually what happens, that gold with gold filled items, the acid will disappear just like um, it will disappear slower, but it will still disappear um, just like, uh, unless it's real gold, solid gold. And this all stayed, so I don't know what that means. But it is marked 12K gold filled when I tested all parts with the 10 karat gold acid. It remained on the stone and didn't move for, like I left it there for minutes. So that is what I know. 120th, let's say 120th, 12K or 14? Oh, 120th, 14K. All right. Well, there you go. And let me get you a link. And guess what? I finally got a new cone, a new bracelet mandrel, which I am keeping my original one because it was a gift from my very sweet friend, Lori, no, Laura, Lisa UFC fan. I was combining L and U. Lisa UFC fan. So it's staying there as my mascot. Um, but this, I did get a new one. This is between six and three quarters and seven inches. The panels on it are super cool. I, re I really like them. I always end up going back to this loop. Beautiful gold stone, at least gold filled, possibly more. You all can, those were my findings. You may interpret them probably better than I can. <laughs> so these, I'm going to do this one, a starting bid of $18. Oh, there we go. Bar she blows. Okay. Pretty, pretty. I like it a lot. The dogs are out barking and running amok in the backyard. Um, it was rainy for two days and finally cleared up later in later in the day today. 
and they do enjoy annoying the living crap out of the neighbors. <laughs> so that is what they are doing. I need to make another video with them. They are crazy and amazing and I love them. Um, let's do this sterling ring. I am selling this as enamel, not turquoise, because it is, it, even if it's Sleeping Beauty turquoise, there's, you know, a clear enamel over the top. So I can't test um, to be sure either way. So I'm just going to sell it as a blue enamel ring. Um, I do know that it's sterling and I do know that it is very, very heavy. This is a size seven. And she is the thickness. Very, 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 very heavy. Here's the 925. I don't think there's any other marks. But this is very heavy. Let me see, let me see, let me see, she, she. Yeah, yeah. It is over 15 grams, almost 16 grams. So we are going to do this bad boy, almost 16 grams sterling silver. Uh, we will do this a starting bid of $30. Um, less than two bucks a gram. And I have real diamonds. I have a Herkimer diamond ring as well today. We got a lot to look at. Um, let's do. Let's do our Hamsa hand festooned choker. Um, I believe it was Tiffany W that bought the other, which I believe is the same brand that had a sapphire like uh, evil eye, which is like to ward off evil in the center, like almost the same style or you know, shape. I don't know how you, how you would describe that. This is 12 and a half to 17 and a half inches depending on where you put it on the extender, because it has an incredibly long extender. So it is a choker for almost everybody. Um, the stones are, I believe CZs, I'll turn all this on. Who knows, we make it a surprise. Oops, there we go. Where are we going? They are bezel set stations all around. Um, the back of the Homsa hand, open back. Super pretty. Here's the clasp with the annoying tooth boy. And there's the branding. It's the capital N in the square again. Is your friendship brand? Um, and oh, this is hot. We will do it. A starting bead. $23, first dibs. I love it. Hi, Shaylee, how are you? Hello, hello. Let's put it on this guy because I have my other linen stand tied up with our 
Desert Rose Trading necklaces. Laura, she blows. Prete, 12 and a half to 17 and a half inches on that bad boy. Um, I also have today, which is not um, jewelry, but I got this at a garage sale um, last actually in the fall um and i bought it from a lady who she made these herself this is a set so there's two smaller these are embroidered and this is the other smaller one and then this is the big one and this one so i assume it's for either um, like one for your coffee table and then one for an end table on each side or to put the larger one like on your vanity in your bedroom and then the two smaller on the nightstands. There is a little, I mean, you can't even really see it, spot on the big one. Um, sizing, the big one is... Seventeen inches across and eleven inches tall. The smaller ones are and I want to keep it as a set. Um, you know, maybe down the line I'll split it up. I don't know, but I'd rather just sell it as a set. Um the smaller ones are 11 and a half inches by 8 inches. Oh, yes, the Hamsa hand necklace was 23, Shaylee. I'm always, I always see things late over here. Um, okay, so for this hand embroidered three piece set, um, I will offer it here first for a starting bit of 18. That's like eight, five and five. And I'm sure this took hours and hours and hours of work for her to do. So, and I think this is super pretty. I bought it to use in my home, but I actually got this at the garage sale uh, the day that sticks passed. And I don't want to keep it in. don't want to remember that day, unfortunately. So. I will end up listing it, no problem. Oh, Brenda's in. Okie dokie, Miss Brenda is in at 18. The next bid will be 19 or higher. Otherwise, we are counting it on down to Brenda. Thank you very, very much, Miss Brenda. Going once, going twice. Fair warning. And we are sold to Brenda Stuckey at $18. I love, love, love this set. It's, it's beautiful. I mean, obviously I bought it for my own house. <laughs> so obviously I like it. Congratulations and thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. Set it there until I do your ticket. Thank you, thank you.
and congratulations. Um, let's do, let's do this mid-century modern um, sterling amber panel bracelet. This is sterling with a safety chain. Oh, okay. 23 on the Hamsa necklace with for Love Shaley. Yes, ma'am. The next bid would be 24 or higher on the sterling Hamsa necklace, or we are counting it on down to Shaley. Going once, going twice to Love Shaley. Fair warning. We are sold to Love Shaley at $23. Congratulations, ladies. Thank you very, 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 very much. I appreciate it very much. Everything I'm making from this sale um, will be going into a big inventory order at the end of the week. A huge, huge inventory order at the end of the week that I am very excited about. Hmm. Okie doke. My little artichokes. Oh, we were doing this. Mid-century modern Polish amber sterling panel bracelet. And this is Onse Bracelet Mandrel. This is a smaller one. This is about, oh, well, the chain's under there. That doesn't really help. This is size six and three quarters. Size six and three quarters. Um, and it does have the safety chain. Let me show you the markings. This was expensive, darlings. There's the Polish stamp in the square. And there's also a 925, I believe, is what it is on this side. See, 925, and there is the brand and countryman. Um, this is a lot of silver. This has some weight to it, and obviously amber is not heavy. There are nine panels, and they alternate between slightly lighter in um, like a classic Baltic, and then there's slightly lighter, not quite honey amber, but just a slightly lighter virgin, virgin, virgin. Um, and we're going to do this one, a starting bid of 100. This is an old one. An oldie but goodie. George. Gorgeous George. I like it. You know what we haven't done? Hardly any rings. I don't think we've done any rings yet, have we? Let's do our Herkimer diamond. This is from the Herkimer Mines in New York. They're called Herkimer Diamonds, but they are not a classic traditional diamond. Um, they are, I believe a type of, I, I don't wanna say the wrong thing. Um, they are a gemstone, obviously, <laughs> a mineral called Her Herkimer Diamonds, um, but they are not a true diamond. This is a point this was a handmade ring. And let me see. Looks like there's 
an A mark in the back, maybe. We'll see designer. And that's really all I see, I think. This loop. Um, yeah, it's a not an A, a V. V as in Victor. Uh, this is a size, I would say that's like between seven and seven and a quarter. Double terminated or terminated? Um, Because tourmaline, like a tourmalated quartz or tourmalated piece, has black um, tourmaline in it. I'm not sure. Anyway, these. this is a gorgeous sterling ring. And um, I will do this for a starting bit of 32. Um, I offered this the first time for $50. Oh, double terminated, huh? Interesting. Tis Gorge. Thank you for looking that up. I appreciate it. Very, very much. This is our assemblage piece um, with the bow opal dragon's breath glass. And I add, I just put this little dangle at the bottom, little wine uh, glass, purple rhinestone. I can take it right off again. If you don't like it, it is no problem. I put it on a vintage gold tone chain. Um, that is 18 inches. And it has a spring ring clasp. Um, I will do this one for a starting bid of $18. I spent far <laughs> too much time putting together all those uh, necklaces with the pendants from my garage sale haul. But it was fun. I enjoyed it. We will enjoy it. Um, let's do, let's do a Delio necklace. I love this pendant. I have another similar, um, and I put this, I really love these. If you like the look of a cord necklace or a colored necklace, but you don't like cloth, this is like a rubber and it has all sterling findings. Um, I have a couple of these in my own collection just because I like them. Sometimes I don't want just a regular chain, um, but if you're, you know, going to a concert, gonna get sweaty, gonna, you know, it's sometimes you don't want cloth. So this is 16 inches, but it's actually very stretchy. Um, but anyways, and the pendant is branded ATI 925 China. And ATI is Annika Witt, isn't it? ATI, I believe, is Annika Witt. Um, And all of the stones are there. Marcasite and sterling clasp. Sit still. And 
we're going to do this bad boy. I thought the black looked really good with the. Oh, Brenda's in. Okie dokie. Brenda's in at 20. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Brenda. The next bid would be 21 or higher, or we are counting it on down. Going once to Brenda, going twice. Fair warning. And we are. Sold to the lovely Miss Brenda Stuckey at $20. Thank you, thank you, thank you, madam. Gorgeous necklace, and I appreciate you. Thank all of you that are here hanging out. Much obliged, my daughter. Ear. Shall we do your new name? What did I mess your name up? <laughs> what did I do? Love your new name. Um, I have this set of rings that I purchased for, oh, Rianda, <laughs> I'm sorry, Rianda. Um, I have this set of rings that I purchased literally, I don't think I had even started making videos yet on jewelry. Um, I was just starting out. This is, there is a size between five and five and a quarter and then a size five so you can stack them. These are sterling silver. They are very heavy, well-made. I paid <laughs> cuckoo bananas amount for them. Well, in relation to what they are, obviously. Um, there is the green and red and... <laughs> Hi, Gianna. Welcome, welcome, my friend. Hello, hello. With a point in the back out of the stone. Isn't that cool? Is the green like that? Nope, the green is flat and it looks doity. Speaking of, I ordered a ultrasonic cleaner. I ordered it, it's on its way, and it said it had arrived. Never got it. And I've never had anything stolen off my porch here before. So I don't know. I contacted them. They just gave me a refund. And I guess not to order a new one from elsewhere. Um, I will offer these individually. And then if someone wants both, I will discount them. Um, this one, the green, is just a hair over a five. And the red, see the red one is actually a little bit larger, it seems. It has the ick, the fish. The red is right at a five. So I guess if you had a stack, you would put the green on the bottom, the red in the middle, and you could stack it with another band or a bling ring. Oh, speaking of, I reset my jewelry. Antique, uh, it's either cadmium or uranium glass sterling ring and frame ring from Kristen. I always wear that. And then this is a sterling iolite with a diamond in the middle um, ring that I got from Kristen. Um, I better not see it on any of Isela's finger while well, it's on mine. And I love it. I love this ring. Um, and I am wearing um, one of my favorite, well, it is my favorite opal bracelet. I got this from Elizabeth Kay. I paid a pretty penny for it, but it was worth every penny. And it was a fair price. 
for what it is. It is a um, signed artisan piece with um, Mexican fire opal inlay. I love it. And then with it, I have my usual turquoise cuff that my dad got me when I was like 15 at like an in-person auction. Um, the angel bracelet I always wear that reminds me of my mom. And the uh, bracelet I bought from Marzena forever ago. And this ring that I also always wear, I got that from Cindy or Roan. I don't know which one. So it reminds me of both of them. <laughs> Thank you. I had, hadn't had changed out my jewelry in so long. Um, I just wore my faves and, but I would just add things like here and there, you know, to just, if I was leaving the house or just to wear it for the day, but I always have like a, a core set that I leave on all the time. So any hoozle, pardon the interruption. Um, these, I will, these, I will do them, buy it now. And I'm going to put up, type the price out if you would like one or if you would like both. So, um, we will do buy it now choice of $28 each, or if you would like both, I will do them for 46. Thank you. Yeah, I was looking for, I wanted uh, like another solitaire style ring to go with this frame one. So I've been wearing this frame one for a while now, probably a couple years. I finally took that pearl one off. I was like being a little bit irrational, thinking I was, something's gonna happen if I take it off. I wore that for like two and a half years straight, but everything is fine, I'm just crazy. All right, let's start the next item and get your tickets, ladies. Um, let's do. Shall we do, oh, that's another tiny ring. Um, let's do this. So this chain is brand new. It's not vintage. I bought it um, from, it's unbranded, it's just 925, from another reseller, again, two or three years ago. Um, and let's see the 16 or 18 inches because yeah, 16, 16 inches. I paid that for just the chain. So I am going to ask for this, this, these are Swarovski crystal dangles, and this is a serpentine S link or serpentine chain. The hinge is tight on this because it's brand new. Let me show you. Um, and I have two of those chains. It is 925 Serpentine. And this super pretty Swarovski crystal little bundle pendant. Um, I am going to do this for a starting bid of 18 and I paid 16 for the chain. So it's a good deal. Where is my other Oh. 
All right, we will pass on that bad boy. Bad girl, pretty girl. I love just a classic Swarovski glass crystal bundle. It's pretty. And you could actually wear that chain by itself if you wanted or um, swap them around, whatever you like, darlings. Let us do, let us do. Let's do this ring. So this is a multi-amber sterling ring that is a size eight. I bought it a while ago and I was very irritated, darling, because when I got it, one of the panels was missing. It's just one, but still. Um, however, if you wear it with the silver part in the back like you normally would, that missing panel goes in between your finger and you wouldn't even see it. Hi, Vintage Beauty. I have not. Um, I can do that after this ring if you'd like. Not a problem. Do I have your info? I know I got um, a new registration the, on the last um, show, but it didn't have a YouTube name with it. Oh, what about the blue necklace in the back? Yes, and I will, I'll do the blue necklace in the, in the back, then the gold stone. This is um, Desert Trading Company Amazonite. Um, this ring is, let me show you, is branded. Nine two five PL, um, but you know, no one will see the missing panel. Very nice ring, but again, because it has a missing piece, you are the missing link. I will do this for. Hi, Elizabeth. Hello, hello, hello. Vintage Beauty CA, what what was your name, Vintage Beauty? I'm sorry, I don't. Um, I don't have. Yeah, I don't have any email that had Vintage Beauty CA in it. I searched it. Sarah Favel, okay. Huh. I do have it. Let me see. Shows that. Your name. Okay. Awesome. A few months ago. Oh, okay. Okie dokie dokie. So, sorry about that. Um, hello, Kristen. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, we are doing this size eight. It is missing one little panel. Just put it in between your fingies, sterling and amber ring. Um, we are going to do this for a starting bit of 23 just due to that. Um, otherwise it would be twice that. And then after this, we are doing the Amazonite Desert Rose Trading Company multi-strand necklace. And then after that, we are doing the Goldstone Sterling Cross Necklace. So size eight, $23, branded, but missing a panel. See, in a 
this a bit? <clears throat> and we will pass on that. This necklace, be aware, is very heavy because it's eight strands of stone. These are all knotted. It has an, the same stone for the clasp, and it does have a sterling tag on it, just to tell you <laughs> um, that it's sterling. No. It also has the brand Desert Trading Co. on it. Um, J. King Desert Trading Co. Desert Rose, I'm sorry, Desert Rose Trading. And eight strands, the shortest strand is Nineteen inches. Nineteen inches. So, shortest strand, nineteen inches. Beautiful, knotted Amazonite. Oh, and I was doing some research on the kyanite slash apatite. Um, not only stones, but also the J. King necklace that I have. And the only thing I found for um, the appetite was just the strand without the pendant. And it was a hundred bucks plus shipping with no pendant. And the pendant, J. King pendants themselves, sell for over a hundred dollars. So I went on the hunt because I was like, am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy. <laughs> but Oh, and also remember this from our celestial. Um, our sterling and celestial show or sale. I had that in there. All right. Sorry, I'm being extra distracty today. I apologize. Um, we will do this multi-strand, um, a starting bid of 78. Oh, and the kyanite is the like royal blue and the appetite is the more green undertone. Of course, I screwed it up because that's what I do. I don't know why that in my head it seemed appetite seemed more like a royal blue word but it's not <laughs> kyanite is the royal blue so we have that multi-strand and then we have this giant sterling blue gold stone hinged fail cross and this is on a very heavy rollo chain and let me get you the length It is on a 20 inch chain, a little over. And this is, wow, okay. A lot of um, we will do this one, a starting bid of $100. Someone named D was selling it. <laughs> This is the chain. Oh, 
heavy. Hello. Okie dokie. <clears throat> and then Lonsdale. Let's do a bracelet. Let's do this. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. I love this bracelet. It is super unique. It is a size seven exactly. And let's see, nine two five Italy. Does it have ATS, ATG maybe is the brand, but look at the panels or the, the links on this. It's almost like a Cuban link, but it has an extra like disc in the middle of each chain link. I just, I just thought it was interesting. And this is very heavy, a lot heavier than a regular Cuban link because it has a whole nother section in the middle. Um, so we will do this little piece of gorgeousness, a starting bit of 32. Super trendy. You guys know I don't pre-polish anything, but I do provide good polishing cloths. And I will give you three different types for free with any sterling order. You just tell me and they are yours. And each one polishes at a different, a different amount. Like if you just want it to still look old, then you use one of them. If you want it to look like brand new, you use the other and I'll, I'll put a little note in there for you. So any hoozle. We got that. Um, I did bring um, some more of my 14 karat gold earrings. I had a two-tone heart a little ring with the heart. I have my little cherubs. Um, looks like we've got a whole lot of hearts. Let's do our little hematite set, which I will offer a price for the both and then a price if you just want one. Or I'll sell them each and a discount if you want both. There we go. Okie dokie. So um, let's do, I just measured this and then totally forgot. 18 inches, okay, 18 inch chain. So this is the ring and this one is tiny. It's very old, but it's tiny. This is a size four. This is a size four. Um, and if you buy both the necklace and the ring, I will take um, $7 off the total. But look at this ring. It is super cool. She's an oldie. And she's a thickum snack. Very old girl. And we will do this one a starting bid of 35. Very unique old ring. At least vintage, probably antique. This would look so cool as a pinky ring. I like it. And then for the pendant, this is a classic princess set sterling hematite pendant necklace on an 18 inch chain by the brand CP, okay? This is a box chain um, that looks like JH925. Gorgeous. This will go with everything. And this one will be a starting bid of 32. 
Back from the tornado alert. Yeah, weather, weather this spring and summer is going to be crazy. I'm noibus. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Pass the Dooney. Um, let's do, what am I thinking? I specifically brought vintage branded items that were specifically asked for. And I'm not showing them like I'm like I'm a post it it to. Where are you going, going to? Do you like the things that life is showing you? Where are you going to? Do you know? Oh, I left them over there. How about I bought and battled for this, and I've had it for a little while. Don't know why I don't show it, but I bought a lot of vintage costume. There are some modern, but mostly vintage costume rings. I don't know why ring lots are in insanely expensive insanely expensive um like just them advertising them as straight up costume lots i don't know why um so i will do some of those but also look what i found i believe this is called poured glass it's got the seam in it and this is an older one i really like this i've held on to this bracelet for a while very unique i honestly can't remember where i got this specific one but i just thought the colors were unique this is obviously very heavy it's glass and it's special i just think it's special and that's how i feel and we are going to do this one a starting bid of um ten dollars also if you guys I'm sure someone has noticed before, I will get a red like mark here on my wrist sometimes. Um, I used to, when I was very young, have horrific like eczema and I had to get essentially like a steroid cream to use. Um, and from a compounding pharmacy in this giant tub when I was 18 and I still have it. So I will put it on there whenever I need it, but that's what it is, not poison ivy or something. Um, it's just a little bit of eczema, no problem. Um, let's do liquid silver. Ay, ay, ay. This is What the heck? Oh, la, 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 la. The shortest strand is 17 inches. And these are the little litlins, the tiny beads. It is five strands, tiny bead, liquid silver, 17 to 18 inches. Um, it has the hook clasp at the top. And um, I will do this for a starting bid of two night only, $37. That is a tonight price because tonight we leave it. Okay. Oh, 
very exciting for me. Um, it's been almost a month, but Curtin Primat, my fiance's last name, chewed up my very nice Samsung earbuds that my mom had got us for Christmas a few years ago. And I didn't have any other headphones or earbuds. I use them while I'm working all the time. These are by JLab. I bought them used. That's just dust on it from me, but they're like brand new. They're heavy. I got these for $14.04 with tax and shipping, $14. Um, and apparently new, they're only like $30 or $40. Highly recommend them because I did try, you know, some of the cheaper, like $2 pair. It doesn't pair right with Bluetooth, whatever. But you don't have to spend $200. You can get a good pair of earbuds for cheap. But anyway, I was waiting a while to actually find um, a good pair and in my price range. So I am very excited to have that. The Heart Cuff Style Bracelet. Um, that actually, I have shown a heart cuff style bracelet almost exactly like this, but this is a different one. This is a totally different one. Um, I can also grab the other size for the other one to see if it's a different size if you need. This one is seven exactly, and it is marked Sterling Mexico 925. This one is seven inches exactly, and it is marked Sterling Mexico 925. It's hinged right here. And um, two night only price, 37. because anything hearts is a good lister. And I, I, I did tell you guys, um, which uh, anyone's welcome to follow me if they want. I am going to start listing, putting things on my Instagram, which is Haley Thrifts. Haley Thrifts. Right now there's mostly just clothing on there, um, but I will be listing jewelry. And I will offer it here first, obviously cheaper. So, but if you just want to follow just for funsies, you can do that too. It is up to you, my darlings. The other one smaller. Um, let me go check. It is not far away. I don't know if. If the other one is Texco or Tesco or not, um, or if it's Mexico Sterling, let me see. I hope I put it back in its proper place and did not put it with my other inventory. Oh, there's a square. one is actually a different brand and this one's heavier this one is will be a different price because this one is different I thought I had another one just like that one though that was a Mexican piece um, this one is a size six and three quarters and it is I've looked up this brand before it is the JJ back to back, but not Judith Jack. It's a different one. And the, it's heavier. The um, bracelet part is round and not flat. This one is a size six and three quarters. But if you would like, I can look to see for the other one that I think is just like that, which will be the same price, obviously. Um, 
after the show, I can look for the other one. Like there's no rush. You don't have to make a decision. This one is going to be a starting bid of 50 or again, you can wait um, after the show. I will go on the hunt to look for another one because I swear I did have one um, almost like that, like the same style and with the flat wider band. This one, the band on it is like perfectly round. It's heavier and this is a different brand. Um, but I will, after the show, go look for the other heart one for you. And that way you can make, not a problem. No, 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 not a problem. Not a problem at all. Um, let's do the giant heart. Look at this bad boy. Um, this is Avanti Sterling, Mexico, and it is stamped. This is a 24 inch chain. Um, it just looked shorter on there because I had doubled it at the top. Um, this is a 24 inch chain. And let's look at, and she is thick. She is the thickness. Von T. Sterling, Mexico, seven. And this one you could in, inscribe if you wanted, um, but that's an option, whatever you like. I will do this for a starting bid. Tonight only deal again. Absolutely, Miss Brenda, it's so weird. I was literally gonna show those first. I was literally gonna grab um, one of those and I was like, no, do the heart. Do you want me to show the amethyst or the topaz first, Miss Brenda? Sorry if you can hear the pups, they're playing. Not a problem, my darling. They're both the same brand. They're just different um, stones. Um, they do have different chains because they didn't have chains with them. So I had to put chains on them. Come on, yo. Um, they have hinge back hook earrings with them. This amethyst one is on an 18 inch sterling chain with a spring ring clasp that is mocked 925 and the pendant is marked FAS 925. Look at the cut of that stone. Beautiful. And then here are the earrings. And they are also marked FAS 925. 
So for the set of amethyst, this one will be a starting bid of 50 for both the necklace and earrings. Okay. Okay. Brenda's in at 50. Thank you. Thank you. The next bid would be 55 or higher, or we are counting it on down. Going once to Miss Brenda. Going twice. Fair warning. And we are sold to the lovely Miss Brenda Stuckey for $50. Thank you, thank you, madam. I appreciate it very, very much. And I will go ahead and run the topaz next. Um, the topaz, um, they are obviously on different chains. But the topaz, the earrings, same are marked FAS925. The chain on the topaz is sixteen and a half inches, which I probably could huh, I could try and find another one. This is Branded 925RO or PO. And, and um, the pendant is the same, FAS 925. I want to see if they have the same. Yes. The clarity on that is gorge um we will do the topaz set for earrings and necklace for sixty dollars topaz which I love blue topaz. I, I'm, my birthday's in November, so I used to not like topaz um, because I always saw, you know, like when they, you get the birthstone things, I always saw it as yellow, which now I like that color. Like yellow topaz is almost exactly this color. Um, and then I found blue topaz and I was like, oh, hey, hey, hey. But I still like both. All right. And Brenda, you need double entries for this one. All right. We will pass on those. Next up, let's do this super old. This is Cyan Sterling with Guilloche Blue enamel work. And this is tiny, tiny, tiny. This is a size five and a half on the bracelet mandrel. Size five and a half. Um, it is a box clasp like so. It is marked. My other loop. I'll use this one. Upside down, yes. It is marked Siam Sterling. It is an oldie. And okay, there, right there, there's a little cracking. That is on the, that's the clasp part. Um, but all the rest are in perfect condition or upside down.
And this lady is a little more... Sit still, Haley. Come on. Detailed and coivacious. Um, because this is a smaller size, the guilloche blue is the rarest of the Siam silver. And usually it's not marked Siam. It'll just be marked sterling like it's not as old. So I will do this one tonight only for 41. And oops, yeah. We are in April. All right, all right. We have Miss, oops, Love Shaley, 41. For your home say, I'm sorry, not 41. I was reading the screen. 23 for your Sterling Homsa hand. Very slick. Necklace. I'm sorry. I'm losing it. <laughs> She's in right, Haley. Um, shall we do a pair of gold earrings? Let's do my favorite. So there is a classic scene with two angels. One is in like the thinking position which I have on my bracelet, and one has its head on its hands, which is this position. And these are 14 karat gold. They do have backs, 14K backs. And I paid up for these. Well, obviously they're gold. 14 karat gold. They are marked on the backs and on the post. And oh, come on, darling. We, I will do the angels, solid 14K angels for a starting bid of 50. And I have the two-toned hearts as well. Out. I have the two-toned hearts out as well. Gillard, gorgeous. All right. And we have Miss Brenda Stuckey for your lovely hand embroidered linen set. Pass on the earrings. Um, let's do, this is a mother of pearl heart and Mother of Pearl Beads with Swarovski Crystal Sterling um, Paperclip Link Necklace. I love this. This was from my treasures because frankly, I wanted to keep it. This is 17 inches, one seven, 17 inches, Stoiling. It is marked 925 on the clasp. All right, so these are the links. Gorge. This is your little pendant dangle, the mother of pearl shell. And then you've got stations with mother of pearl shell beads and glass crystals. I am obsessed, obsessed, obsessed with this necklace. I will do this for a starting bid of 37. This is so trendy, so everything. 
and I love Paperclip Link, of course. I think a lot of folks do because it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right, and we have Miss Brenda 20 on your Annika Witt Sterling necklace. And on. Um, let's do the Mother of Pearl Shell Desert Trading Co necklace. Look at this bad boy. This is four strands on each side. And then, so there's eight at the top and eight at the bottom. The large, I guess I would say that's abalone. Yeesh. Abalone has the green, this has green. I don't know. I think it's abalone and mother of pearl shell is what I think. The length on this one for the shortest strand. Is 21 inches, obviously not including any of the parts that hang down further because um, that is not the part that goes around your neck. Um, I spent a very long time getting these untangled um, because, and I bought them in a like an expensive lot. It wasn't like a you know mystery bag, so they should have taken the time to do it. Let's say did not, and now they are perfect. These also have the multi-stone bracelet. Absolutely, I've got two of them. I have um, this one that's more Art Deco, and this one is branded. This one is expensive with a Peacock Mystic Topaz and a bunch of them. And then I had the Bali style ones in my last show. This, oh darn, is Desert Rose Trading Company as well with your little sterling tag hot tag um this is beautiful absolutely stunning and a two night only deal fifty dollars desert rose trading company multi-strand shell and abalone necklace. Okie dokie. All right. And All right, these are my largest and fanciest of the multi-stone bracelets like this. Um, let me turn on Elvis again. I tested all of these before the show and then I forget what stones they are and which is which. Um, this one with the black that's very Art Deco style is six and a half inches. This one is six and a half inches on the bracelet mandrel with, let's see, here's the markings. Oh, this is FAS. This is by FAS as well. 
Um, this one is by, it looks like an A-E. Um, this other one is seven and a half inches. So I have six and a half inches and seven and a half inches. This one, the six and a half. All right, all the real stones. stones okay this one six and a half inches fas 925 um they are all as expected except the purple is spinel not amethyst so you've got uh spinel purple spinel topaz garnet citrine purple spinel topaz garnet citrine as it goes And you can put a safety clasp on it right here and right here. Safety chain, if you want. So this one, um, while I'm here. We will do this one for tonight, tonight, the deals are for tonight, starting bid and 55 tonight, tonight. And then, Miss Brenda, we have the FAS Sterling Amethyst Necklace and our Pendant Necklace and Earring Set. And then, the other. which is seven and a half inches. This has emerald peacock topaz and amethyst, no, emerald peacock topaz, garnet, and spinel. Emerald, spinel, garnet, spinel, topaz, topaz, spinel, spinel, topaz, garnet, emerald. This is so cool, and again, I'm going to have to, I'm sure, show this again later because I looked this up and probably forgot the brand. It is, I believe, CL, C, I don't know, I thought I remembered it. Maybe SP. Not a problem at all, but um, I am obsessed with this. This is seven and a half inches. I've had this for a while, and it is probably one, of course, I'm going to have to list. Um, I will do this one for a starting bid of 100 today.
I do have a very pretty milk glass necklace. Pulled out our rings and costume goodies to show. All right. You want a bit on the Art Deco one, Brenda? For the Art Deco, sure. Okie dokie, Brenda is in at 55 for the Onyx Gemstone Art Deco style bracelet by FAS. This is six and a half inches. The next bid would be 60 or higher. We are going once to Miss Brenda, going twice. Fair warning. We are sold to Miss Brenda Stuckey at $55. Congratulations, madam. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it very, very much. Very, 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 very much. I am going to quickly do some pretty stud earrings. These are post earrings. These have, I'm gonna put new backs, rubber backs on all of these because they don't match anyway. These are beautiful, faux pearl and acrylic cabs with the rhinestones. They are all there. The back is in very good condition. And we will do these. I know they're not going to stay in there, but just so you can see. We will do these for a buy it now of $5. No problem. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Brenda. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. And I will be doing a lot of recorded videos this week. And also, don't forget, on Friday, Kristen D has her sale Friday. She is my go-to purse lady, and I always highly recommend her. Always, always. Um, Miss Brenda's fifty-five and double entries for April of twenty twenty-four. All right. Hi there. My art, <laughs> we are having a very good night, all of us. We admire your art and something of Guatemala. I have not taken Spanish since college, but <laughs> that is what I gather. Unfortunately, a lot of these, well, I, I haven't made the earrings I or jewelry. I have done some assemblage pieces in this sale. Um, these are, again, little post stud earrings, and these we will do for four bucks. And I have one more pair of little studs, well, large studs after this. I have these. These are super pretty. The back does have a little bit of wear on this one. On just one of them. But they are adorb and my unlucky rule. We will do these for three. Gorge. 
Or if somebody wants all of them for 10, we will do that. All right, and then we will pass a Rooney. Thank you, El Gallito. Hello, Joe. Did I do an okay translation? I did my best. You want the $4 ones, Miss Amanda? These? Yes, ma'am. And thank you for your help, Mr. Joe. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I did, okay. <laughs> I tried. Yes, ma'am, Amanda. Amanda G. Oops, we are in four, 24. The she blurs. And I need a bag. Oh, I've got to show this killer croc necklace. Double crocs. This bad boy. I will do this one next. Well, hey, I'm glad you stopped in. Thank you, thank you, Joe. I appreciate it. Always, always. Miss Amanda G, four dollars, and your entree, Milady. Since you're here, let's do this bad boy. Um, I have to show you. There's one little. I don't even know if you. Would... It's not like broken or unusable, um, but there is a little part that has a crack on. Bail. Use my round pliers. Show you. Okay, so this is on a flat snake chain, a long one, sterling. 20 inch flat snake chain. Very cool. She happy. And it has these two crocs. Look at these guys. There we go. There we go. Now, you see there's, oh, it's not, well, it wasn't split through. It is now. I fiddled with it. You see there's a crack there, but I mean, it's not, it's not going to come out, but I just, I wanted to show you that obviously, and it will be discounted. Due to that, I don't see markings on our Crocs. Just a super cool piece. And because there is that little hiccup, we will do this guy for a good deal. Um, I will just charge for the pet, for the chain. Chain sell for 40 to 50 bucks. So hey, there you go. You get the chain and the pendant. Um, I want to do um, what did you go, darling? All right, I pulled out these plated and costume rings. This one is giant. This is a size 12. Um, this one is plated with a tiger's eye. What size is chain? Hi, Joanna. Which chain are you referring to? 
The necklace I just showed was 20 inches. This was a 20 inch chain with the alligators. All right. Joanna Lowe is in at 41. The next bid would be 42 or higher. Otherwise, we are counting it on down. Going once to Joanna. Going twice. Fair warning. And we are sold to Joanna Lowe at $41. Congratulations, and I thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. Okie dokes, my artichokes. This is super cool costume ring. It is plated, size 12, unisex, faux tiger's eye, very detailed. And this one will be a buy it now of $4. You're very, very welcome, Miss Joanna. You're very welcome. I did these rings earlier. I know you like the ichthys fish. These were a size five and five and a quarter. And then um, let's do the last large pendant I have out for tonight. I have so many pendant necklaces I need to bring. Oh, you know what I never offered? What is wrong with me? This is Zemira. This is goldstone hematite and mother of pearl shell. I looked this up. I was very surprised. These were going for a lot of money and there was only one or two active listings. They were all sold. So um, this was a very exciting find. This is a purse mirror, pocket mirror, and it has a lady on it. So, you know, I'm obsessed with it. Um, and we will do this piece of gorgeousness, a starting bid of $28. Very unique. And then the ones online had ladies. But I promised to bring it tonight. And then next I will do this pendant necklace, Sterling. This one's really cool. It's on <clears throat> a super cool chain. All right, this. is 19 inches on the chain. And this is like a chain mail chain necklace, the safe box clasp and safety latch and a large mother of pearl shell pendant. It's the back. This is the front, beautiful, all sterling. Here is the clasp. There's the safety latch and box clasp. I can't remember if this, yeah, it's marked in there. Why can't I see that clearly? Um, but, and this one was, this one was 19 inches, correct? Right, right. I think it says Spain. Upper 
for sure. It's odd. Okay, any hoozle. Face this the right way. Um, we will do this killing piece. I love, I love this necklace. A starting bid of 50. Interesting, darling. Very interesting. Always different. Speaking of Spain, let's do those brooches. I have some gorgeous um, Damascene and Toledo wear. Look at these brooches. And I got them at different times. These are, I believe, Domicine. Domicine and Toledo wear are similar, but I believe the Domicine also has white and the Toledo wear is just black and gold tone, I believe. But look, this one has a lady in the fan, holding the fan as the fan. Here's the other one. So I will do them for each or a price for both. It is up to you. Um, so I will do these. Yeah, they do. They match. I like them. All right, I will do these. Buy it now, $12 each, or if you would like both for 20. These are often gold plated as well. Probably should have tested those. It did not, but I thought they were pretty cool. I also have a clip on pair of leaf Domicine earrings tonight. A lot of Domicine. A little collection. This was just separate in a separate bag. Um, these are just totally funsy earrings. Gold tone glass seed beads dangles. This, I'll straighten those out, but they're just funsy earrings. Buy it now. One dollar. Because I love the colors and these are perfect for sunder, sunder. Summer. These are like, like a teal, a white, and a fuchsia. I just like them. And then... I had pulled these out for vintage items, and I think I grabbed the wrong one. Um, do you guys want me to go back to sterling and gold or do some more costume pieces? You let me know. This is a size eight. This is plated. This has turquoise inlay. And enameling. This is a very, very cool one. And I will do this, buy it now, $7. I like it a lot. Oh, we didn't even do our diamond rings. Diamonds are forever. I have three diamond rings tonight, um, starting with a size 10. 
I have a band that is a seven, and then I have this heart frame that's a five and a half. So five and a half, seven, and ten. This five and a half one I am obsessed with. And it is marked P4SR. I don't know. But it is a gorgeous sterling ring with actually a pretty decent sized diamond in it. Look at this. It's not a little chip. I mean, heck. <laughs> it's bigger than my frame diamonds on my engagement ring. And look at the sides. How cute is this? Size five and a half diamond ring. And we are going to do this bad boy. A starting bid of $55 because one larger diamond is better than even more small ones making up that size. Like the individual diamonds size is, this is really, it's actually really nice. Isn't it cute? And then I have a size seven. These are pretty good size diamonds too in that band. And then I have a RJ Graziano with little diamond chips in a size 10. So we'll pass on that. This is a size seven. And this is amazing. There are a lot of diamonds in it, a lot. And they're not little chips either. This is marked right here, nine to five. And then there's a heart with the brand next to it. Look at this ring. Look at how many diamonds are in that. Those are big diamonds. Like this is, um, I'll show you, this is a diamond chip, like the size of a diamond chip, you can see. And even that's not that little of a diamond chip. They can be smaller. So, size seven branded stacker. This would honestly be a gorgeous wedding band. This is beautiful. Um, two night only, because there are how many diamonds? I believe there are 17. We will do this for a hundred bucks tonight. This is beautiful. Oh, we didn't do the 10K London Blue Topaz bracelet that I have or the Garnet Eye Abalone Frog bracelet. What am I thinking? This was from my treasures. And I had it written on the bag that these were emeralds. This is, I've had this for uh, close to three years, if not over three years. Um, because I started collecting jewelry for a project I had was not even intending on selling. Um, in like literally at the shutdown in 2020, so March of 2020. I think I did my first video spring 2021. So I probably got this end of 2020, beginning of 2021. This is a solid 10 karat gold London blue topaz bracelet. This is a size six and three quarters. 
size six and three quarters. It is marked 10K as well. It does need a little cleanup, but it is beautiful. And of course, I have tested the stones and the metal, but I knew once I looked at them again that those were not emeralds. <laughs> um, but, and then I've marked with the, is that the brand on this one? on the tab. Yeah, GGC. GGC is the brand. So 10 karat gold, solid. Um, I will do this solid gold tennis bracelet for a buy it now. I did comps on these and they weren't cheap. Most of them were well over 500. So I think that's fair. I will be listing it for 450. And this is stainless, a stainless steel spinner ring. This is a size, not quite a nine, between eight and a half and nine. And it has this like oil slick. Ugh. Had the door open this evening. Um, it has this oil slick spinner layer on here. Um, this is stainless steel. Buy it now for five bucks. And the oil slick chain does move. I don't want to put that with my sterling and get it confused. Um, are you guys ready for the giveaway drawings? Are you ready? That's a really pretty adjustable vintage ring. Which ring, Crystal? Do I have your info, Crystal? Crystal Lewis. I will check my email for that name. Crystal Lewis. No, I don't have anything for Crystal Lewis. I'm not sure which ring, Crystal. Wonder if this would work as well or no. Oh, the last ring, 
The stainless steel one was a size eight and a half. Yep, go ahead and register if you would like to bid or buy. And I will be happy to take your bids. Ooh, that's white. Too large on the stainless yeah well I will have a whole lot more costume rings coming in my recorded videos this week um I do have this was in a protected box with fuzz this is a Weiss brooch and these vintage brooches are very 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 expensive these are prong set all of the stones are there in this piece. It is gorgeous. And um, I will do this uh, by it now 32 tonight. Make sure the clasp is fully functional. Yep. Gorgeous, gorgeous, darling, gorgeous. This um, isn't branded, it just says made in USA, but I love it and I want to show it to you guys. Enameled flower, flower pot. All of the stones are there. It is beautiful, 3D. I love this one. Seven dollars. Buy it now. And I also pulled this out. I don't know if you guys would want me to do the left one. I can do that too. And then I have this Monet brushed gold tone signed Monet. It is in beautiful condition. 10 bucks and we will go ahead. Let me get Miss Joanna her entry ticket and we will do the giveaway drawings. All righty. Miss Joanna, 41 for your crocodile necklace and your entry. All right, let's see. All right, so. Got your info. Got your info, Crystal. Thank you, thank you. Yep, you just need to send it once, so that is perfect. All righty. And one for good measure. This is a vintage 
plated turquoise and coral chip inlay tie, tie tack or just lapel pin. Just lapel pin. And it does have a um, clutch back pin on it and we will do this for five bucks. This is not solid sterling, it is costume. It does have a silver pin. Are you there? Can we hear me? Woo! I'm out of panic. All right, we will drop two names for the $5 credit. Um, we didn't hit our 300 mark, but we will still be giving away the first sterling um, pendant. The first name drawn, oh, that's from August of 2022. We are in April, so we need November, December, January, February, March, April. Everything from November of 2023 on. These are good for six whole months. All right, this one is from February of this year. We have Pam T, Miss Pam Taylor. Pam Taylor. And next is, that's from 2022. That's from this year. We have Sharon Bolte. So Miss Pam T and Sharon Bolte, you have a $5 credit. That is good until May 2nd. Today is April 2nd, so that is good until May 2nd. And for our giveaway items, we have the Sterling Charm or Pendant, however you want to use it. Um, it is a little palm tree. It's adorable. Diamond cut. We also have the gold tone leaf earrings. These are vintage. We also have the little vintage rhinestone post earrings. And last but certainly not least, I'm going to go ahead and offer, um, I don't even know if we have or people that purchased tonight, but I'm also offering the um, enameled brooch. It does need some love, but it is an extra item. So four items, four options. The first person to choose is, I think this Brenda went to sleep. I think. Yep. Brenda Stuckey. Brenda Stuckey. So, of course, we put the extra names in the $5 in the um, $5 credit bag. Next up is da, 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 da. Brenda Stuckey. Okie dokie. Brenda Stuckey. Brenda Stuckey. And Amanda G, Amanda G, Amanda G, which item would you like, my friend? Would you like the sterling charm or pendant, the rhinestone earrings, the leaf earrings, or the brooch? Rhinestone post for you? Yes, ma'am. Rhinestone post for Amanda. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and congratulations. Next up will be Joanna Lowe. Joanna Lowe, would you like the charm or pendant, the leaf earrings, or the brooch? And after Joanna will be Love Shaley. Wh which ones? You want the palm tree? Palm tree for Joanna Lowe. All right. Love Shaley, would you like the 
leaf earrings or the brooch. You're very, very welcome. It's another for Brenda. We'll put that in a $5 credit bag. Another for Brenda. And that's it. Leaf earrings for Shaylee. You got it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for hanging out this evening. I appreciate it. Um, I will have a many upcoming recorded videos this week, so I hope you check them out. Um, I will also be, this is a big shipping week. I have six or eight packages going out. Um, everything is shipping unless you told me to hold it. I know Miss Tiffany um, likes to build a package with me, but if anyone else wants their stuff held, please let me know. Otherwise, I will be shipping your goodies out that are due. I ship seven days from receiving payment. And yes, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate all of you and I will see you next time. Bye. Ay, 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 ay.